falling into the double bind. What's the trap? You fall into the trigger. You try to reverse history, essentially. Mm -hmm. You have a feeling. You make a judgment about it, right? You're resentful. You don't deserve it. Then you reverse engineer the trigger. What was this specific occurrence? Or the person who abused you tells you it. So you don't, it's not like, <laughs> so the trigger is three. <laughs> and then you f fall into the double bind. You don't spot the, the illogic or whatever. The smoke and mirrors, the context stuff. So then you try to will yourself away out. Chasing approval or trying to dump it on the person that abused you. But it's not the pain, it's the story, it's the wrapping paper, the language of agency that caught you in the double bind. You're divorcing. Divorce you and put a story on you. That's a trap, a double bind trap, and then you just get you're wasting all your energy on a on a lie. On a half truth, on something that's missing. And when you do that, you end up with toxic shame. You identify yourself as a problem because the only thing that's a common denominator is I suck. <laughs> I can't get through the double bind. What's the trap? You fall into the trigger. You try to reverse history, essentially. Mm -hmm. You have a feeling. You make a judgment about it, right? You try to reverse history. You're resentful. You try to reverse history. You don't deserve it. You try to reverse history.